Now, if you have a choice of picking a city that has had the best sporting moments in the world, which one would you choose? For many, an option is Melbourne in Australia, purely because of the variety of sports. There's cricket, football, there's tennis, and of course, Formula One. It's also hosted an Olympics. Others might argue it to be London in the United Kingdom, home to a host of football clubs, the iconic Lord's Cricket Ground as well, the glittery Wembley. But a few fans would also bring in Manchester to the table, a city that has Old Trafford, which has seen some of the best cricket and football games, home to two giants of English football, Manchester City and Manchester United. A city that has experienced a nervy rivalry with Liverpool and of course, the Manchester Derby, which always raises the question, is Manchester blue or red? The intercity rivalry has seen some of the most iconic moments in the history of sports. Irrespective of the number of titles City has won in the recent past, for their fans, the biggest one would be the Aguero moment. Remember that Aguero goal on 13th May 2012. Sergio Aguero's goal, 90 seconds from the final whistle. That goal not only won City their maiden Premier League title, but it also broke the hearts of Manchester United fans, who finished second despite having the same number of points. City lifted the Premier League trophy because of higher goal difference and ended United's Premier League domination. Ask a Manchester United fan, they would still be haunted by that Aguero moment. That was just a glimpse of what Manchester City was about to become. The late 2010s and early 2020s saw City reach unprecedented heights of success. They won the league in five out of six seasons under the management of Pep Guardiola. And here in 2024, the two clubs are in completely different ends of the spectrum. While Manchester City are dominating, United are hunting for a revival of sorts. While City is attracting global talents, United are still stuck on prospective players. But no matter the stark difference and the imbalanced face-off that it may seem like, a Manchester derby is always one to look forward to. Something for the fans, some pride for players. It's a do-or-die battle and there is much at stake. Manchester United will face Manchester City at the Etihad on 3rd March in Premier League fixture. But who will hold the edge? heading to the game. No prizes for guessing, it looks like Manchester City and especially after yesterday's FA Cup game where Manchester City hammered Luton Town 6-2. It was the goal machine Erling Holland who scored five times. Some scary signs for United heading into the game. Memes have flooded social media platforms on how United is shivering in its boots ahead of that Sunday fixture. Eric Ten Hag's side is under pressure, especially after United's 1-2 loss to Fulham in their Premier League game. While City are full of confidence, United head into the game as the underdogs. And if their current form doesn't reflect the odds, their face-offs, especially over the last year, surely do. In the first derby of the 2022-23 league season, City beat United 6-3. It's the highest scoring Manchester derby of all time. If that was not it, in the 2023 FA Cup final, Manchester City went on to win 2-1. And then, of course, come the current season, City beat United 3-0 thanks to Erling Haaland's twin strikes. So all these results, and especially the involvement of Haaland himself in one of those, would give Manchester City a psychological edge. And let's not forget, Manchester City are second in the Premier League points table. Pep Guardiola and City combined are monstrous when it comes to a good fight and keeping the momentum going. So safe to say they won't let this opportunity slide too. Let's talk about United though. Yes, it's here again. Let's not rake up the past few months. The club not only is fighting on the field, but is also facing the wrath of it. In fact, after their loss against Fulham, players asked for the management, players asked the management, in fact, for an off day. Usually the next day they do a bit of training and there's a video analysis session. Players wanted a break from it. But guess what? No break given. The pressure is mounting and if we look at the two teams stacking up against each other on paper, United's lack of options in defence will be something that will haunt them. And imagine when the attacking display of City is put in front of a weak defensive United. Can you even imagine the carnage? I'm expecting another goal, goal fest at the Etihad. Not from both the sides though, maybe just Manchester City. And maybe this loss will be the most bitter pill for Eric Ten Hag and his team to swallow. But we'll wait and watch what happens on Sunday.